Howdy guys, welcome back to Azuriel Circle. For this video, we're going to finish up on the endings. I actually have three more endings to show off. Um, one of them, the first one I'm going to do is the easiest to find. I should have been able to find this one in my original playthrough. Um, I thought, because I knew it would be an option. I think back in Chapter 2, you were able to just like leave the scenario and say, I'm out of here. And I tried talking to his car, I tried talking to the bed, but... I think you actually just have to talk to the couch. There we go. Forget about this. I don't want any more involvement. I'm just going to sit here, watch some TV, and wait for all this just to blow over. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like that's that's like a, a pretty good option. So that's what I did. I sat and watched a few reruns of the rest of the day. Although saying things blew over is probably a bad way to put it. There was one hell of a bizarre outcome, and it made me sick to my stomach. Honestly, that might be the best ending. <laughs> that might be like the ideal ending you want. Um, so I should have been able to find that one. And then the next two... Let's try doing... Uh, let me see here. I don't know if I have to do this in a particular order. Because like this save file is like at the very end of the game. I might have to do some stuff before. Or try this earlier in the game. So if this does not work, then I gotta play around with it a little bit. But um, by the way, these endings they were given to me by the game developer. He was nice enough to let me know what I missed, and uh, I greatly appreciate that because I do like to show everything there is to show. So let's go to Ryan's attic, and then he said to talk to a box, and one of those boxes is gonna say something different. Okay, this one says something different. A box of old things. And then keep talking to it. Wait, maybe it's this box. <laughs> no, it should be this box. Box of old things. Oh, hey. It's my Demonomancer disc. I thought I lost... Is this the game he was playing? It's a bit dated now, but I always enjoy text-based adventures. Okay, <laughs> there's no way I would have ever found that. Like, one of my shortcomings in these kind of games is I assume once I talk to something once, I'll never have to talk to it again. But a lot of games, like, you got to talk to it multiple times. But, like, there's no way I would have talked to that box, like, what was that, 10 or 20 times? So after we have that disc, let's go to the computer. Sweet, time to play some Demonomancer in the land. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's do this. In the land of Valios, there lived a young knight who was known as Eric. Eric Lionheart. He was still inexperienced, but he certainly tried his hardest to bring safety to his village. One day, a demon named Carthite Car Carthite emerged from a castle in the mountains and presented himself before the entire village of Gathron. Now you shall bow down to me, said Cathrite. He gave the villagers until sundown to submit to him, or he swore to torch the entirety of Gathron. The villagers were terrified, but Eric stood up and said, Fear not, my friends. I, Eric Lionheart, shall defend you from Cathrite. Carthite. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> the villagers were unconvinced, for Eric had yet to prove himself outside of slaying the odd wandering wolf or M. Eric decided that he needed to make his case to each of the villagers, Firstly, he went to speak to Clea, the shopkeep. How should Eric convince Clea to provide him with the healing potions necessary to fight against Carthite? Oh, no way. This is like a, a game in a game. All right. Let's try, I feel like, passionate speech. Because you want to be passionate. You're about to kill the demon. Was it a demon? Clea told Eric that his speech reminded her of another knight from her youth. She positively beamed at him as she handed over the potions he needed. Okay, that sounds like we did the right thing. Next, Eric decided to approach the blacksmith of the village, Vormund. Eric realized that he needed a new set of armor and that Vormund should have exactly what he needed. How should Eric convince Vormund to hand, over, hand it over? All right, we're not going to threaten him. Let's pay him. That's got to be the right option. 
Eric handed over all of the good that was in his coin purse. Volman left. Do you think that that's enough to get me to fork for my best armor? Get out of here. I'd sooner choose death. Oh, come on. That's the wrong option. Mormon wasn't alone. His young apprentice, Clyde, was a, was nearly a master when it came to crafting swords. How you proceed to obtain one? His young apprentice. I feel like if it's a young apprentice, he's going to want to hear tall tales. Let's tell him some tall tales. Eric told the young smith at the time he slayed three dragons at once. But it cost him his sword. Clyde was driven to tears at the loss of Eric's best sword. He swiftly handed over his latest masterwork. Sundown came and Eric approached the town square. Nice, nice, we got a sword now. Carthite was already there, towering over the citizens Ah, towering over the citizens, and ready to spear them with his dark trident. Eric charged forth and No my no my game crashed. No. No. Okay, let's try different options. No, 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 I gotta start over. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, let me try that again. I'm going to cut right here. We're going to try to... Mm, let me try to threaten the, the guy and see what, what that leads to. Okay, we still gave the passionate speech to Clea. But now we're going to threaten Vormund. Here, grab Vormund by the collar and said to him, Now listen here, you greedy scumbag. You have exactly what I need to defend myself against Carthite. Vormund shakily smiled and handed over the armor. Foreman wasn't alone. His young apprentice Clyde was nearly a master when it came to crafting swords. How do you proceed? Um, it looks like we got the sword last time, so let's tell Tall Tales again. And we already read this. Uh, Tiring over the citizens. Freddy the Spearman with his dark trident. No, 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 don't crash again. No! Did I make the right choices? Was Eric able to do the village? Oh, yes, we got it! <laughs> yes, he was! For I am he. Eric! Did you slay Carthite then? I did indeed. You aided me, Sir Ryan, so I shall aid you. Is this guy gonna kill Azuriel? How do you know my name? The player input screen. Oh, no way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Alright, what do I do now? Uh, it just says go to his car. Let me save really quick. Hold on. Is this is this one of your characters in um the RPG you made? File nine, let's just save there. Alright, let's go to the car. I wonder what happens if we bring this guy to the uh the shed. I kinda wanna try that too. That does it. Let's get out of here. Good idea, my friend. No shame in fleeing to return and fight another day. Well, maybe a little shame. <laughs> We're going straight to the gun shop. Forsooth. What is a gun? My stalwart champion. It's like a rod of magic missile, pretty much. But you can recharge it more easily, and you have to aim it. Your world, uh, your world has more sorcery than I could have imagined. What are we waiting for? Onwards. And so we left. Then returned with an arsenal of weapons. We killed the shit out of the guy in the mask. We rescued Anna from the forest, and we sorted out Christopher. It was him all along. Everything worked out in the end, and I started up a new business with Eric. It was a demon hunting service, and we called it Gun Nights. Then we went bust after about six months, but it was a fun ride while it lasted. I traveled into the Demonomancer world with Eric, and I brought my guns there. Turns out it's actually quite effective to take snipe evil rituals while they're atop pedestals reforming their dark magic. I'm now rolling in gold pieces. All's well that ends well. <laughs> so that was kind of like a a fun ending I don't know if it's gonna I don't think it's gonna change anything if I take him to the shed um so let's get started with the third ending what I there's no way I would have found this one so let's load up a uh, file number four should be fine Christopher's oven okay so we got to talk to a couple things and then go back to Xander's house, I think? No, Alistair's house at the end. So whose house are we in right now? 
We might actually be in Christopher's house, but let me check the mailbox. Oh, no, we're already in Alistair's house. So let's go to Christopher's house. I think it's this one, actually. And then what you want to do here is talk to the oven three times. So probably leave Christopher's oven alone. Oh, multiple times. Let me just try talking to it. This is an oven, right? He's not talking about like the microwave oven. Something about, I was going too fast. Something about a book. It looks very old. Maybe it'll come in handy. There's no way I would have ever found that. There's no way. I had to talk to the oven like 50 times. So we have the old book. Let me see if I can take a look at it in my inventory. Oh, it's a Zuriel's book. Okay. So after we have that, let's go to the toilet in Howard's house. Um, I think Howard's the last house, right? Yeah, the Howard family. Which one was their bathroom? I forget. Oh, here we go. That's not a well. It's not the first time I thought. Uh, so what was it? A lantern? Oh no, wait, I already had the lantern. Azuriel's left horn. Oh damn. This is getting this is getting intense now. <laughs> um, and then the last one is trash can in Xander's room. Whoops. Okay, let's go get that then. It's probably the right horn. Um, Xander, I think, is right next to us. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Trash can in his room. Is there a trash can in here? Yeah, here we go. Nothing in this trash can. Nothing in this trash can. I had to talk to it 13 times. So I guess that's not as many as I thought it was. There's something in here after all. What is it? It is the right horn. Okay. Now the place we use this, I'll save before in case something happens. But I knew there was, there's a room in uh, Alistair's house that there's nothing in there but a painting. And I was like, this has to, this has to serve some sort of purpose. Because it just seems so out of place. So you gotta do something to the painting. Um, let me see what room I was in. Oh wait. Why is that door? Oh wait, we already did that. Okay. Okay, let me save really quick. Okay. Look at this picture. It really makes me wonder about life. It makes me think about all kinds of things. What the hell? What the hell is exactly right, kid? This doesn't look like Virginia anymore. It doesn't look like New York, but here we are. Here we all are. We're all stuck here. Your voice sounds familiar. It's some sort of space-time paradox. You don't know this version of me. We've been here for years. We don't age, we just wait. It hasn't been years for me yet. It feels like it has. Believe me on that one. Is there not a way to break out of here? We've tried everything we can think of. The door is too tough for the three of us to break down. We could try again with the fourth. I reckon it'll take five. 
well, we'll give it a try anyway. This is going to be a long ride. Oh gosh, that sounds like a terrible ending. That was like all the main characters from chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4 trapped in this like space-time thing where they're not aging. All right, we got one more. It's not an ending, it's just bonus. Oh shit, which fruit do I talk to? Is there more than one fruit? Let me pause right here really quick. Okay, here's the fruit right here. It's in the kitchen of the Howard house. Any milk, not a fruit. Hang on, I recognize this. I've played Tale of Enki, Pilgrimage. It's a cursed fruit. I wonder what this one will do. Crunch, gulp. <laughs> I'm a weird chicken man now, damn. Can I just play the game like this? <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. So that's that's his other game he made. Um, if you're into RPGs, definitely check out that game. I know he put a lot of work into it. But I don't know. I, I guess it <laughs> it doesn't do anything. I think it just changes the way you look. Do the other chapters do that? I don't think I've even checked like the other fruit multiple times in the other chapters. But as far as I know, that's everything for Chapter 4. I know I've missed stuff for Chapter 1, 2, and 3. Um, but as far as I know, that's everything there is to show in Chapter 4. So that'll be it for this game. But I'm definitely going to come back when he comes out with Chapter 5. And I think we're going to wrap up the series with that. I think Chapter 5 is the final installment of the series. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.